Hi and welcome to this first in a series of user guide videos for Drone Desk. So in the first video I'm going to talk through the sign up process and the initial setup of your profile and system. So you can see I've already filled in the um, sign up form. Uh, this is not me, it's an imaginary person just to be clear. Um, username can be anything you like, no spaces, no, um, no special characters. But as long as the name's not already taken, you can use anything. Uh, first name, last name, you need a valid email address because you'll be sent an email to confirm um, it's the correct address before you can sign in properly for the first time. Um, and then your company name should really be your legitimate company name. You can change it within the system later if need be. And then choose a password, as uh, secure as you can, at least eight characters with uh, at least one uppercase letter and a number included. Have a read of the terms and conditions and privacy policy and assuming you're happy, tick the box and then click sign me up. So an email will uh, arrive in your inbox. Check your spam folder if you don't see it within a few minutes. OK, um, then you come back to this screen and you can now log in with the accounts that you just created. So. If you click remember me, that'll set a cookie for seven days. So you'll not need to log in again uh, on this same PC for seven days. Handy if it's only you that's going to be using this computer. Click log in. And the first time you log in, you'll be taken to the screen, edit my business. So here you can set up the details about your business, um, including adding um, some logos. So we'll add a square logo. This at the moment isn't used anywhere in the system, but it will be in future probably. So it's worth uploading if you go on available. And then a wider banner logo, and that's used in things like invoices and so on. So this is Bob's logo. So now we need to enter the rest of the business details. The primary thing here is the business structure. If you select private limited company, then you'll be prompted to enter your company reg number and your registered office address if you're not a limited company sole trader for example then you won't need to enter your, uh, enter a company reg number and so on enter your website and if you are registered for vat then that vat number will appear at the bottom of your invoices and quotes and will mean that vat is added to all your prices in those quotes and invoices if you're not vat registered and you don't enter a number here then um, all your prices will be shown net and VAT won't be mentioned at all on the um, on the quotes and invoices. Enter your PFCO ID, that's mandatory. I'm assuming everybody that signs up for Drone Desk is PFCO. Um, and then the expiry date. At the moment, this isn't used for anything, but I anticipate uh, setting up some kind of reminder system so that this will um, prompt you to think about submitting your uh, reapproval at an appropriate time. Okay, so email address you've already entered, phone number, you you need to enter either a, a landline number or a mobile, it doesn't matter. Uh, or you can enter both if you want, of course. Trading street address, so registered address, as I say, is only required if you are a limited company. You can enter your Twitter, Facebook, and so on link if you want to. And then Towards the bottom, we've got quote terms and invoice terms. So these are notes that will appear on every, uh, on quotes and or invoices that you send out. Um, you can change them on a per quote or per invoice basis. So this is just a default to make that task easier when you come to sending quotes and invoices out. So um, we'll say invoice pay for example. Um, and then the next quote invoice reference number at the bottom here. Uh, this is a random number generated by the system when you sign up um, and your invoices will be numbered sequentially from this onwards. If you've already got a numbering system in place and this is going to cause you problems, then please get in touch and I'll, I'll modify your uh, number sequence in the database. Click Save Changes. OK, so now we've got the business profile set up. We'll go back to the profile page. And you can see at the top of the screen, uh, there's a personal profile and you can change your password in here and your profile image. So let's just dive into there a second and we'll add a profile image. And remember to save your changes, so I'll click Save Changes at the bottom right and we're done. 
Um, so now we've got the business profile set up on my personal profile. And you can see at the top right of the screen is my personal profile images appeared. And I can come back to this screen at any point um, within the system by clicking on my profile. This is also where you log out from. Okay, so that's your profile set up and you're now ready to go. So let's click on the dashboard. And you can see that your business logo has appeared at the top there and in various bits of information. So I'll cover this in the next video. Thank you for watching.